Hi there, this is Dean Hansen. Uh, I just figured out something cool with Flash. Um, I'm not an expert in Flash, and I definitely clearly cannot draw very well, judging from this image here. But I do want to show you what I figured out how to do, and I know a lot of people know how to do this way better than I do, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. Um, as you can see, the animation I've made here actually has some pretty cool little movement, kind of legitimate physics. I'm just scanning through it. And I'm not an animator, and I can't draw clearly. And you can see these little arm things kind of grab this ball and throw it down, and it bounces kind of in a way that looks somewhat realistic. We play it. So it ends up looking pretty cool. Um, the trick to making something, I made this really fast. The trick to making something look pretty good is either being really, really good at animation, understanding the physics of animation, or just drawing over an actual video, which is what I did. So here's a video I got off of YouTube, and you can import it into Flash and just frame by frame draw over the video. And then you get yourself some legitimate looking physics, and it gets kind of a, it creates kind of a cool little effect. So as you can see, my arms are just these little lines I just drew in pick frame by frame. These stupid little arms that kind of follow his arms, and I just have them stop right there at 25 frames. And I could have them move a little more if I wanted. For, as far as the ball goes, I just made a circle, made it into a symbol, and then moved the circle frame by frame. So I have to draw the circle over and over and over. And I mean, that's it. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do it. And obviously the more time you put into it, you can get something that looks way better. Oh yeah, and for the background, I mean, I just drew some straight lines to give it some sort of a 3D space. It's really basic, just outlined what he had there. All on their own layer, of course, and then you end up getting something that looks somewhat kind of cool. Like, you know, you can see that there's some possibilities to do something pretty cool. This is the first one I've ever done and I put about 20 minutes into this. So you know if you put some time into it and got good at it you could really do some pretty cool videos. You know film the video and then animate it. Um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do it if you don't know. Let's do a new flash document. So let's say this is your flash document. Just make your first layer your video. <laughs> on that first layer on track one, file, import, import video. Choose the video you want. Continue. You're going to use embed video in SWF and play in timeline is the format you'll use or whatever. You can edit the video if you only want to import part of it. Hit continue. It tells you what's going to happen. Continue. Finish. It goes ahead and imports the video onto your stage. Okay, now our video is imported. We can see it here. Make a new layer. If you're new to Flash, you're just going to want almost every little thing on its own layer. Make a layer called ball. On this layer, on frame one, grab your circle and let's make a ball. You can make it colored in or just use the outline of it. That's what I use. Oops. Let's lock, lock the video. Just use ball. Highlight it. Convert to symbol. Make it whatever you want. Move it over the ball. Free transform. If you hit shift when you move it, it'll transform it all in one at the same time. Come up here and let's zoom in a little. So now we've got a rough representation of the ball on frame one. Hit F6. And now we've got a new frame. Use the arrow keys and it moves the ball. Hit F6 again. 
use the arrow keys to move the ball. Every time I hit F6, I'm creating a new frame and moving the ball. F6. And just keep doing that and follow the ball along. And if we scroll down through, we can see that our little circle is following the ball. Cool. And if you use this little button here, onion skin, you can see your past frames and your future frames in a darker color. And that's it. And then you could draw it. You can get as detailed or non-detailed as you want. And like with mine, I, I wasn't very detailed at all. I just wanted to see how well it would work. And it still has this realistic feel, even though the details are, are not there. It still has this real feel. It's pretty cool. If you want to watch it with the video in. It gets kind of weird because I did it in two different frame rates, and so I think it's getting confused. But yeah didn't take me very long at all and you can see why it wouldn't take very long at all because you're just moving it so you come back here where we were you can even turn on your skin off if we want just keep hitting F6 F6 will give you will copy the drawing over to the new one <sighs> if you do F7 it won't copy it over it'll just give you a brand new empty frame Yeah, and then now we have the ball moving with it. So if we cross off the video, we can see what the ball is doing. We'll put the video back in. Let's do some arms really quick. New file. Let's name this arms. Go here. Frame one. And just draw in some arms. Just kind of follow his arm movement. You could get as detailed as you want. F6. Oops. In this case, we're going to want to use F7. So that you could use F6 and then animate the arms the same way as the ball. I find it's quicker and easier to use F7 and just redraw a brand new arm every time. F7 and if we use onion skin we can see our last drawings. And then I just drew in some arms like this. Again you can get as detailed as you want. Yeah, and it will look cool. Like I think it looks kind of cool for somebody that clearly doesn't know how to draw or animate. And all of a sudden, we're getting something that you know I'm somebody that doesn't know how to draw or animate, but yet I can make things look reasonably cool. And that's what we got so far. All right, I'm done.